Welcome to question number seven. In this question we're given the following diagram. It shows the line y equals 3x minus 4 which is a tangent to the circle C. It touches C at the point P which is 2, 2. And the point Q is the centre of the circle. And the first part of the question, part A, asks us to find an equation of the straight line through P and Q. OK, so you might like to give that a go. Just pause the video, come back when you're ready, check to see if you've got the right solution. And if you are having problems with a question like this, it involves coordinate geometry. So you might like to look at one or two of the tutorials on coordinate geometry. OK, welcome back if you had a go and uh, let's see uh, how you got on. So for part A then, we have to find the equation of the line then passing through P and Q. OK, if we know anything about equations of lines, we know that we've got to have a gradient and it would be good to know a point on the equation of the line. Well, we do certainly know a point on the line through P and Q. It's the point 2, 2 but we don't know the gradient. But we do know that the gradient of PQ is perpendicular to the tangent, the gradient of the tangent. And the gradient of the tangent is 3, because if you know anything about y equals mx plus c, you'll know that the m value is the gradient, and the gradient of the tangent is this m value here, 3. So we'll start off then by saying that the gradient of the tangent gradient of tangent equals 3. So just quickly write that in. OK, that's the m value in y equals mx plus c. And so therefore, that means that the gradient of the perpendicular, OK, that would be the gradient of pq, turns out to be related to this gradient because the product of perpendicular gradients is negative 1. So that means that 3 times a particular number gives negative 1, and that number will be minus a third. So the gradient of PQ is minus a third. All right. OK, so we've got the gradient of PQ. We've also got a line on, oh, sorry, we've got a coordinate then on the line passing through PQ, which is 2, 2. So we're in a position then to find out the equation. So rather than just go tearing into that equation, I'm just going to write a short intro so that the reader knows where I'm going. So the equation of the line through PQ, OK, let's just take a time just to write that, through PQ is, OK, and we'll drop to a new line. And I'm going to use the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where m is the gradient and x1, y1 is a point on the line, and that point is the point 2, 2. So that will be y minus y1, that's 2, equals the gradient m, which is minus a third, times x minus the x-coordinate, which is 2, the x-coordinate of p, that is. OK, so essentially that is it, because it says find an equation of the straight line through P and Q. So I could stop there. However, I do know that this question is going to develop from here, and uh, I think I'd like to just tidy this up. So what I'm going to do is times both sides by 3 next, just to get rid of the 3 from here. So I times the left-hand side by 3. That gives me 3y minus 6. And if I times the right-hand side by 3, that's going to give me minus bracket x minus 2. OK, let's just scroll up a bit, give some room. And what should we do now? Just expand this bracket out. That will give us 3y minus 6 equals minus x plus 2. And then I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So that will give me 3y on the left 
equals and if I add 6 to the other side that's going to be plus 2 plus another 6 that's 8 so I'm going to write 8 first because it looks good to write a positive value first and then the negative value afterwards so there we are 3y equals 8 minus x the equation of the line but as I said earlier any one of these stages would do or you might even have something else that's just equivalent and if you did do that well done and for that you would get yourself three marks so we'll just mark that in there okay we move on now to part B and in part B it asks us to find the x coordinate of Q it says given that the Q that Q lies on the line y equals 1 show that the x coordinate of Q is 5 so I'll just bring that picture back up in view so given that Q lies on the line y equals 1 show that the x coordinate of Q is 5 so you might like to have a look at that for a moment it's only worth one mark so don't expect to do too much work okay pause the video come back when you're ready okay welcome back let's see uh, how you got on well for this all we've got to do since we know that Q lies on the line through P and Q it means that uh, Y equals 1 must satisfy uh, the equation of that line so what I'm going to do is substitute when Y equals 1 I'm going to substitute its value into 3Y equals 8 minus X so what I would therefore have is that 3 times the 1 would equal 8 minus X so I'm showing a little bit of working enough I hope to get enough marks to show that Q the X coordinate of Q is 5 so that's giving me 3 equals 8 minus X and I feel by now it's pretty obvious that X is 5 okay so hopefully you did that and that's going to get you the one mark